Fanchocinco, it's me, Teacher Sara, and I'm so happy to be here because I'm missing you a lot. So let's begin our lesson with a good song. So if you're happy and you know it, okay? If you can, you stand up and dance, all right? Let me play the song. If you're happy and you know it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know what to do or free, hooray! If you're happy and you do all three, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will show me. If you're happy and you know it, do or free, hooray! We could warm up, right, with that? So today I'm going to do a storytelling. I know you love stories, so do I. And on our story, we are going to the zoo. But before going to the zoo, let's check some names of some animals. I have here some cards and I'm going to show them for you. Look at here. This is a very big animal, isn't it? So what animal is it? Can you shout its name? Come on, shout it. What? Yes, elephant. It's a very big elephant. Look at here. You can see that he has big ears. You see? Big ears. My ears are not big. You can see a big trunk, a very long trunk. Yes? Let's go to the next animal. <gasps> wow. This animal is green. Look at Oh my gosh, it's a very long animal. What animal is it? Come on, can you shout it too? Yes, let's shout, let me hear. Oh my gosh, yes, that's it. It's a very long crocodile. It's a crocodile. Very great. The next one, what animal? Oh, look at here. I can see two animals, mommy and baby what? Mommy and baby? Yes, very nice. Mommy and baby monkeys. It's so beautiful. Look at the little baby. Can you see it? Oh, so cute, isn't it? And they have a long tail, see? Now the next one. <gasps> It's a very wild animal and it says Rawr. What animal does have the sound? Rawr. Elephant? Mm, no. What? Lion? Could be a lion but doesn't have a mane. So let me give you a hint. There are two colors. Orange and black. Giraffe? No. A giraffe doesn't do roar. It's a tiger. Look at here. It's all orange with black stripes. Beautiful, isn't it? But it's a little bit scary. Oh my God. And then, oh, so cute. Look at here. We have a bird, but it can't fly. Yes? Love swimming. What animal is it? Let me see if you can say it. 
Oh, I could hear. Can you speak loud? What animal is it? Yes, that's it. It's a penguin. I mean, I have two penguins. Yes. So it's a penguin and they love eating fish. Look at here. Nice, isn't it? Well, so now we are going to our story, okay? It's a story about a girl named Annie and it's her birthday, but she doesn't have a party with balloons. She went to the zoo. Let's gonna see it. Who's at the zoo story? It was a very sunny day and it was Annie's birthday. Annie was a very happy girl. She went to the zoo with mommy and daddy. They went to the line to get some tickets. They bought three tickets. Annie was really excited. When they got into the zoo, the family sat on a bench and looked at the map. But daddy said that he had some riddles and Annie must guess what animals he was talking to. Okay, listen carefully, said daddy. I have ears that are huge, but don't have mane. I have a trunk, but not to take on a plane, said daddy. Okay, Annie, look at the map. Mm, a mane, but it doesn't have a mane, so it's not a lion. What animal could be? Oh, it has a trunk, so it must be an elephant. That's it. They went to elephant's enclosure and they saw the elephants playing, take some baths, then drink some water. Then it was time for the next riddle. Daddy said, My coat is striped to let me hide, but on me you could never ride. I have sharp teeth and pointy claws, but I'm not found near the boars, said Daddy. Oh, it's easy, Annie shouted. It's a tiger. And suddenly she saw some orange and black stripes and the grass. Oh my gosh, it was a huge tiger. Then it was time for the next riddle. Okay, Daddy said. I'm old, as old as the dinosaurs. I have a rough skin, love water, but have no coat or paws. Well, so Annie thought, old as dinosaurs? <gasps> That's only can be crocodiles. And suddenly they saw two huge crocodiles with large mouths and sharp teeth. Daddy, what's the next riddle? Well, Daddy said, Pay attention, my dear. I'm ticky, furry, small and loud. I like to hang out in a crowd. I too on fruit and veggie for dinner. And at climbing, I'm a winner. And then they were in front of the monkey's cage. There was a big family of monkeys they were cheering, eat food, vegetables and fruit, and they were taking care of each other. They climbed on the trees, jump from branch to branch. It was very funny to see. And then there was one more riddle. Just to left, said Daddy. Ready for the next one? Some part of me is black and some part is white. But I don't hunt and fly at night. I love to eat and to dive, but I don't live inside a hive. Black and white animals, thought Annie. Not zebras or pandas. What animal could be? And suddenly they were in front of Penguin's cage. Look, those penguins, they were swimming beautifully and eating fish. So funny to see. It was almost the end of the trip and they got in a monorail. They saw lots of things from the top. 
It was very funny. Annie was even more excited because now she could go to the shop and buy some stuffed animal. And of course, as a present, she wanted a very fluffy pink elephant. Amy was really, really happy. Now it's time to say goodbye. Annie was so tired, she yawned. <sighs> oh, Daddy, thank you for this day. It was the best day of my life. And then she fell asleep and got home. That's the end. Okay, we're back. So, did you like this story? Did you like that she went to the zoo with mommy, daddy, and she saw the animals, tigers, elephants? Very nice, isn't it? And the most wonderful part, she went to the shop and then she buy a very nice elephant. I have mine and I uh, stuffed the animal too. Look at this big bear. Rawr, but this bear, it's fluffy, it's nice, okay? Well, so now, stay there, bear. It's my big teddy bear. So now, um, I have a task for you. I have a work. You are going to find a white sheet of paper like this and a pencil, and you are going to draw your favorite wild animal zoo animal okay if you could go to the zoo and get an animal what animal would it be okay i did mine already and uh if i could i have this big bird a macau yes this is a macau okay macau and i love macaus because they are so beautiful with these colors do you know these colors tell me Okay, red, and this one, very nice, yellow, and this one, blue, great. Well, now it's time to say goodbye, and I hope you, I can see you next time, okay? So we have to go, let's say bye-bye, goodbye, bye-bye, bye-bye, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay.